and welcome back to my channel today. I am bringing you finally long awaited second installment in the birthstone series. This is amethyst and I really like how this turned out. I tried not to make it like the one that I just got through filming. I really like this. I love purples. Purple is like my favorite color. Anyway guys let's talk a little bit about amethyst. So if you were born in the month of February your birthstone is amethyst. I have a couple of them here. I have quite a bit of them actually but I grabbed just this one. This one's a point and just a little uh, amethyst point and then I have this one which is kind of more of a raw uh, chunk if you will of amethyst and it still has some of the like rock attached to it. So I grabbed these. I think they're some of the prettiest ones I have. I also have chevron amethyst. I have amethyst skulls. I have um, quite a bit of amethyst actually. I really like amethyst. It's one of my favorite stones. Um, and I'm just going to read you a little bit about it like I did last month. I don't know how I did it last month. I was trying to stay kind of consistent but I know I talked about it and I know that I saved this page specifically for this video. So <laughs> Let's just jump right in. This is purple quartz and is a beautiful blend of violet and red that can be found in every corner of the world. The name comes from the ancient Greek derived from the word methustos. I hope I didn't butcher that, which means intoxicated. Ancient wearers believe the gemstone could protect them from drunkenness. Amethyst, as previously mentioned, is composed of quartz, which is the second most abundant material found in the Earth's crust. Amethyst gets its color from iridation, iron impurities, and the presence of trace elements. Its hardness is a 7 on the most scale. Its hardness makes it a durable and lasting option for jewelry. While amethyst is most commonly recognized to be a purple color, the gemstone can range from a light pinkish violet to a deep purple that can read more blue or red, depending on the light. Sometimes the same stone can have layers or color variants, so the way the gemstone is cut is important to the way the color shows in the finished piece, which is why I grabbed both of them because, as you can see, this one has a color variance and so does this one, and it's just, this one's more marbled as opposed to this one being like a gradient. Amethysts often occur in geodes or in the cavities of gratanic rocks and can be found all over the world, including including in the United States, Canada, Brazil, and Zambia. The amethyst is not only the February birthstone, it is also used to celebrate the 6th and 17th years of marriage. I really love amethyst. I have a lot of amethyst jewelry. I'm wearing some of them today. I have like a necklace that just has a big chunk on it. Let me grab it, I'll show it to you. I also have this necklace which has a crescent moon on it and a big slice of amethyst. Damn, I should put that on. All right, well I put it there so that works little bit of a choker. So I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you want to see how I created this look, then just stay tuned. All right guys, I haven't filmed since February. It is March 20th. It's about to be the 21st because it is Friday night at 11:30 at night. The only reason that I'm filming now is because I'm on quarantine. So much like everyone else in the world, I'm bored. Um, and I really, I need to edit, but I also need to film. But this should have been filmed back in like February for February babies because this is my amethyst video so I'm sorry about that but I didn't feel like filming because on my days off I would sleep or I would just like try to catch up on stuff at the house because it was working so much because we were down to like a skeleton crew and right when all of this quarantine stuff happened our manager that's been out on maternity leave came back like literally she came back on Tuesday and we close the store on Thursday. I worked Sunday and then I was off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and I was supposed to go back to work on Thursday and they shut the store down on Thursday. I'm not sick or anything but I have had a little bit of a cough only because it's pollen season. So and I went outside today, played with the dogs. So now my throat's all scratchy and I've got a little bit of a cough but it was really windy and there's like pollen flying everywhere. I mean our car is yellow so I'm not sick but anyway I'm bored so I'm like I need to catch up on some videos I've got like three of them I need to edit already and I've got like four to film so what else do I have to do and plus I'm also gonna be making some videos for TikTok because that is another thing that I have been doing and have been obsessed with lately is TikTok and I've made a couple TikToks if you want to follow me. It's the same name as on here, Winnie Darling MUA, and I'll put it across the screen right here. So you guys can follow me on there if you're on TikTok. I'm going to be posting some makeup looks on there eventually. We're just going to jump into this makeup tutorial. I am Rusty AF. I am going to be using the So Jaded palette from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop because there is a amethyst shade in here. Here is what amethyst looks like. And I am filming in a different area. I just, instead of moving like this way and facing with the wall behind me and moving everything around and just 
I decided to just stay where I'm at. And you get to see this is the background now. So I'm also going to be dipping into the Bloodlust palette from Jeffree Star. I did get this a while ago. I filmed a video and a tutorial and it will be up probably before you see this one, I think, I hope. I don't know, I've got some editing to do. But anyway, this is what this one looks like. So yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna dip into a couple different palettes, see what I come up with. Also have a couple purple palettes from ColourPop. I did just recently get the Lilac You A Lot one and I have not got to use it yet, but it's so pretty. Oh, so probably dip into that. Here's the It's My Pleasure palette. A lot of beautiful colors in that as well. So I've got some purples to play with. So how y'all been? What's up? What's happening? I am glad to be off work. I'll say that. So I'm going to take the Morphe M535. And I've already primed my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's not my favorite. I prefer the Fenty one, but I have run out of the Fenty one. I'm going to dip into Vivid Mood, which is in the Bloodlust palette. And like I said, I've already used this palette and I've done a whole tutorial on it. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll have it up before. All right, so this is Vivid Mood. Really pretty. I'm just going to start in my crease. I'm just going to tap it right there. And just tap it along. And then I'm going to start blending it up. Really any fluffy bl blush, blah, 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 blah. any fluffy brush will do. Um, but what you want to do is you want to concentrate the color kind of closer, closer towards your lid, right in that crease, and then blend it up. You don't want to add any extra color to it because you just want to have, this is just going to be your transition color. And you just want to have that pretty, I have glitter on my forehead. Okay. Anyway, you just want to have that pretty transition. And I have a lot, and I've talked about this in another video too, I have a lot of space between my crease and my brow. So I want to utilize all of this space. So I'm sorry guys if I keep looking over here, I'm looking at myself, I keep forgetting. It's been a while since I filmed, you guys are over here. <laughs> anyway, bear with me, y'all. So I'm just going to keep building this color up in my crease and then I'll show you the next step. I want to pop into these ColourPop ones since I haven't really got to play with them since I got them. Or rather, I haven't played with them since I got them. It's not that I haven't had a chance because believe me, I have. I've had plenty of time to do things lately. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Iffy. And if you don't have these palettes, just use a variation of purples that you have. And I'm going to pop that right in my crease. I really am obsessed with these ColourPop 9 Pan palettes, you guys. I have almost all of them. I'm waiting for some to go back in stock so I can get them. So I'm just taking this into my outer crease. I'm trying not to do a similar look that I did to the <laughs> Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. So let me know in the comments if you're a February baby. I'm going to go back into some Vivid Mood on that first brush that we used. I'm going to tap a little bit off. I just want to go right at the edge. I do want to take like a lighter like lilac and go along this area here just to diffuse that out even more. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to use my Veramona Color Switch. Brush is cleaned off for the most part. I think I'm going to go with the shade Zoned Out, which is this one right here in the Lilac You A Lot palette. And I think it's going to be light enough. It's not going to give me a whole, whole lot of pigment. I'm going to tap it off though. Let's see. I think I'm gonna dip into the shade Dungeon, which is this one here. I'm gonna go with the JS13 brush. It's just this little pencil brush. And I'm going to carefully dip into Dungeon. Okay, and then I'm gonna go right in my crease um, and probably this outer third. We're just gonna continue drawing this line. And then I'm gonna take it down. To the lash line. Sorry, I have a bad habit of like stopping mid sentence because I can't concentrate. So I'm like, <laughs> so I like leave you hanging on half my words. So sorry about that. I know it's like two purple looks back to back, but it is what it is. I'm going to continue building up this dungeon shade in my crease and then I'm going to do a cut crease and I will be right back whenever we get there. Alright guys, I already did one eye. I decided instead of doing a cut crease, well, 
I started out doing a cut crease and then I decided I'm gonna do a halo eye okay I cannot do a halo eye clearly it's just it is what it is so this is the look so I'll show you what I did on this eye and I'm gonna do the same steps even though I think that you could probably skip what I'm about to do which is the cut crease however I feel like the amethyst from the Kathleen Lights ColourPop stuck better on my lid doing it this way so I'm gonna do it again and basically I'm just putting this all over my lid my cut crease and then I decided I don't want to do a cut crease so I went in with the amethyst shade from the Kathleen Lights palette and I'm using the JS11 brush it's just a little flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just pack that all over on top of that sticky base so once I had that on I was like oh that's really pretty but that's a lot of purple there's no like pop so I took my brush I just did the cut crease with took a little bit more of the product and basically went back over that center section and created a halo well I tried <laughs> so once you have just like that little bit on before it dried I took from the lilac you a lot palette I used the shade cloud in the center and fluff on the edges so cloud I used with my finger and I just pop that in the center of my lid all the way up I just kind of press that into what I just placed on there so this one's looking already a lot better than the other one and I took my finger and I went into fluff just a little bit and then I went on either side of that center color and I just tapped it in there so then I went back in with a small smudger brush in fluff and I just kind of really made sure it was defined on the sides and then I went back to the brush that I placed amethyst with um, dipped back into some more amethyst just to kind of clean up um, that halo and then I took that first brush the very first brush we used and I kind of did this number and that's it guys that is what I created I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up tweak a little bit we'll be back for the bottom lash all right cleaned it up and I had some fallout so I had to dust that away but it wasn't a lot given the fact that we use really dark colors so what I did was I took a little bit more dungeon and I just concentrated in these outer and inner corners and again you could probably skip a lot of the steps that I took to get where I'm at right now we're gonna move on to the bottom lash line we're gonna go in with dungeon we're gonna take that shade along the lower lash line in the outer corner and I'm just gonna pull that in about halfway dust off my little brush I'm gonna go in with that iffy shade from the lilac you a lot palette I'm gonna place this right at the center and bring it into the front so I'm gonna take the JS5 brush it's just a fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with that zoned out shade right here from the lilac you a lot I'm gonna really load that up and I'm gonna go underneath my eye and just kind of blend those two with this pinky purple shade I want to go into the alchemist holographic palette I'm gonna use the shade amethyst right in the center I'm gonna pop this in my inner corner I'm gonna think I'm gonna use it for a highlight today but I'm gonna pop that right here in this inner corner take that fluffy brush and just kind of blend up in this front area here I'm gonna grab a different brush a little flat I think this is a wet n wild brush yeah and it's it's not stained pink that's what the bristles look like I'm also gonna go into the ultraviolet amethyst just on like the edge of the I'm gonna hold it like this just on the edge because what I want to do is I want to pop this right here right there Ooh, so pretty I'm also gonna take that first brush I'm gonna dust it off because I don't want anything on my brush because I want to blend out 
underneath where I place that ultraviolet at the brow bone because I just want to make sure it's not a harsh line and I'm gonna go ahead and put my highlight on I'm gonna do the tip of my nose with that purple oh yeah Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Do a little bit of one right there. Just down the nose. Definitely gonna hit these cheeks. I'm gonna take my brush that I put powder on with. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. Just a little bit. Not a lot of bit. All right. Gonna go ahead and do my lashes, my liner, and the lips. And I'll be back to finish this video and talk about some amethyst stuff. All right, guys, this is the completed look that I came up with. I am wearing the Leo lashes. I think it's the Leo lashes. Yes, the Leo lashes from Black Moon. Cosmetics. The lip is the Kat Von D um, Witches with the Glimmerville Intellivator. So pretty. I also put the Trooper Black Cake Pencil in my waterline and mascara is the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout that I got in gratis. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it right there. I used the Fenty Fly Liner for my wing, which my, my lashes pretty much hide that. And that's it guys. That is the completed look. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry that this is so late, but I got nothing but time on my hands now and I'm going to be filming a lot. So stay tuned. Please hit that like and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. I hope that you guys are doing well and that you're staying safe and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.